So an underutilized setup inside a HubSpot is the association or creating associations between companies, especially when you have conglomerates, let's just say like a Massey Motors or an Ansa Motors where they have a group company and a number of subsidiaries. The reason why I think that that is such an important misstep is because you are unable to now create those associations to have a clear understanding as to who falls under this particular group company to be able to find them and just structure your data better. So to help with that, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial as to how do we go about creating associations between parent and child company. Let's check it out. So in this example, we are going to be using Massey Group because we know that the Massey Group has a number of subsidiaries under their name. So they have in terms of motors and machinery, gas, etc., etc. So we already have some of those companies inside of our system. So we have Massey Group here being the main company and we have all of these other subsidiaries, but there's no relationship between group being the parent and also who's the list of the children, quote unquote. All right, so what we're gonna do, it's a pretty simple step. Um, we're gonna click on preview in this instance. I'm not gonna go be going directly into the record. And then I'm gonna come here and I am going to look for companies. So I'm gonna to go to add. It seems as though somebody's already here, so as motors. So I'm gonna to go to add. And I'm gonna use one, two, three. So I'm just gonna go with machinery. I'm gonna go with finance and I'm gonna go with stores for now. All right, and we'll do um, a CCAT and distribution maybe on mobile. And when I click here, what's gonna happen is gonna ask me, well, what is the relationship? Now these things should be defined from before. So I'm just gonna say in this instance, it's a child, meaning subs subsidiary in this instance. So it's a child, so it's now going to say group, right? And the last one is here, where we're going to say the same thing. This is a child, and then I'm going to click Save. Now, once I've done that, what do we have now? Boom, that's it, right? So we now have the associations. If I were to refresh the screen, um, what are we going to see? We should now see the group company being Massey Group, Right, um, with three records under its belt, and these three records are these same three records. And then when you look at these here, this is gonna say, hey, we are the child company to, to Massey Group, right? And of course, Massey Group is, is our parent company. So that's how you go about creating relationship between accounts within. Now you can do the same thing as it relates to people as well. If you're in higher education, you could create relationships or create your own association labels for relationships between child and parent. If it is that you are doing something along the lines of say you're in HR services, you can create association labels that are um, employer and employee. Whatever it is as a relates to how you want to structure your business to show the relationship between one contact and a company or two companies or two contacts, because you can even do hubs, husband and wife, it's all dependent upon what your needs are and how you structure your system to show relationships to your customer base. So that's a little look deeper into what CRM really means as it relates to creating better customer relationships and understanding more about your customers so that you can take the right strategic actions. All right, peace.